Like you look a little surprised. <laughs> no. No, I just, uh, I, I didn't imagine that you would be back in the, you know, the dating pool with Frank Cooper. Oh, I'm, I'm taking a swan dive, baby. <laughs> well, it looks like it's working out. It great. is. It's great. Uh, um, Olivia, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry for doing this to you, but I, I've got to go. Oh, I thought you were taking a break from all that. Yeah, well, that was the intention, but uh, I have to brief the interim mayor right now on this whole deal between Gus and Alan, and um, I'm sorry. I, I, I was having such a nice time, too. Me too. I'm, I'm sorry you have to go. Yeah. Hey, Josh. Yeah? Can you do me a favor, please? Can you make sure that Olivia gets back safe and sound, okay? Sure. Thanks. I'll talk to you later. See I'll see you, Frank. All right, I'll see you guys. Tell Harley I'm thinking about her. Okay. Uh, you know what? I, I apologize because if I had known that you were out here on a date with Frank Cooper, I would have gone a different way and uh, left you to your privacy. No, you don't. I'm actually glad that you showed up when you did. Why is that? Well, I'm a little nervous. Well, I've known you to be a lot of things, Olivia, but nervous is not one of them. Well, I haven't been in the dating pool for quite some time and, and you know before you know it you've, you're out with someone because you didn't realize how quickly you said yes and then you're in it you know you're in the thick of it and you're smiling on cue and you're sitting here banging your head for something interesting to say so you don't look like an idiot yeah, yeah just a, just an observation uh, Frank Cooper doesn't yeah. really seem like uh, what my you type know. so yeah. he's not the filthy rich man of the universe kind of guy I didn't say that well you didn't have to the truth is, is that I think that I've been spending way too much time in the Spalding worlds, and I maybe don't even know what my type is. But I do know that I, I want someone with values, I do, who comes from an honest place and is strong, but, but sensitive and caring and easy on the eyes. Well, that sounds like Frank. It's not that I'm going to, I'm going to head over heels in love with the guy. I mean, he's great to take a walk with, but I'm just not going to limit myself right now. I'm glad to hear that. You are? Yeah. I, I do have to say this, though. Uh, you're not going to do a whole lot better than Bill. No, but maybe there's someone out there that's just as good. I have to believe that. Okay, uh, I really did come here to work, um, so I've got a client who wants to spend a lot of money on a piece of property, so i got to go track that down. Um, I'll see you, all right? Hey, Josh, the, um, I was just thinking maybe that you'd like to consider uh, a site, a, a, a site for the building. If you look um, right out there, you see that lighthouse? Well, when, okay. when it's beam meets the beam from the other lighthouse it's like um a double bucket of moonlight just spread over the lake it's really magical you should watch it's it's uh, worth the wait you're right mm -hmm. it's very nice and it's right here in our own backyard how did you know about this? Do you, do you spend a lot of time down here, or...? Yeah, yeah, no, I come down here when I want to think about my life and really? what I want. What's next? Well, I hope that works out for you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually am down here to work, so, uh... Yeah. I gotta go. But, you know, Josh, you... <laughs> you're forgetting something. What is that? Well, Frank asked you to look after me. Yeah, but I think he meant that in a more general sense, don't you? I mean, like, making sure you don't fall into the lake, for Oh, instance. you're not going to ditch me. I mean, you... Are you? No, of course not. Come walk with me. 